So number six then from paper one of the 2023 advanced tie up format question four numbers complex numbers in either the Cartesian rectangular or the polar form what we've got here for two marks express that in polar form well you could do the Pythagoras and the inverse tan but when you recognize the numbers the quickest way would just be to plot that in the Nargan diagram one along th route three up because you recognize that one root three that's a one two root three that's a 60 30 triangle that's 60 degrees but put it into radians though so that will give you that will be two times cos 60 is pi upon three cos pi upon three plus i sine pi upon three B. Hence or otherwise show that Z cubed is real. Well, I suppose the only reason for doing that was it's easier to multiply numbers in polar form. Because that simply means I'm going to take that number, 2 cos pi upon 3 plus i sine pi upon 3, and cube it. And cubing it means cube both parts. So cube the 2, that's easy, that's 8. And then the Demovras is when you cube this part of it, it becomes 3 times the argument. So it'll become cos pi plus i sine pi, multiplying it out. And then just evaluating it. Because the cos of pi, the cos of 180 is negative 1. Plus i times the sine of pi is 0. So the imaginary part's gone. So that just produces a real number. Z cubed is negative 8, which is real. And so number 7 for 4 marks, summations. Find an expression for this in this form. Well, you'll find them at the front. But I'll just split that up first of all. That would be the sum of r squared plus the sum of r. I'm not going to put those bits in. Now the r squared one, that's the one with one sixth of n, n plus one, two n plus one. Oh, that's, the, that's that petrol hedge trimmer finally stopped. I think they've got their petrol lawnmower out now. Plus three lots of, and that one becomes a half of n, n plus one. Right, now you just got to start tidying up because you've got common factors here. Take out the nasties, so I'll take out the sixth. Take out the n, they've both got that, and take out the n plus one. So what does that leave? Well, that just leaves a two n plus one here. I'll just keep that to itself in a wee bracket that doesn't actually need it. Now, that'll have to get multiplied by 3, though. So that's going to be plus 9. And it is just plus 9. I'm getting distracted by that. Loan more. So tidying that up gives you... Oh, we'll just have to leave it. N, N plus 1 times... And that's going to be 2N plus 10. Common factor of 2. Take it out. That now produces your third. N, N plus 1, N plus 5. Then in part B for two marks, hence or otherwise, find the value of this summation, R going from 11 to 20. Well, you've only got a formula that goes from 1 to whatever. So what you could do is you could find it from R equals 1 to 20. I'll not put this bit in now. And from that, subtract what you had going from 1 up to 10. That'll leave the 11 to 20 part. So just using this formula, first of all, with a 20. So you've got a third of 20 times 21 times 25. Take away this one. A third of this time it's 10 times 11 times 15. So that would be, you've got 7. Well, that's 500 times 7. So that'll be 3,500 minus. That's a 5. 55, 550. 
So it's just 50 off the 3,000 then. 2,950.